have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make Bruh, the hard decisions. My girl's from? got you more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark? And with now the she's wall? trying to be sympathetic. Because she wants some of the leady. <sighs> you know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, it's then you do it. It's clear that the old man, I forgot his name, because he has red subtitles, Douche he's bag. a bad That's guy. That's all the food we have for today. Well, don't get used to you him being here. You decide who gets to eat. Well, no, I'm serious. I can do it. Pick up that food and start this handing it out. This is what I do. You see how this it feels to not have every time, food and I'm going to keep doing it every time. So now we get to hand out the food. He's not getting any. Let's just be honest here. Fucking dickbag dad, he's not getting anything. I already have the four people I'm going to be giving food to. Well, it's technically five, but we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so first, and over here, and we're going to give one to Clementine. I think she likes the apple. Hey, Clem, you need something to eat? I love apples. Yeah, there Thank we you. go. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. I'll give hey, him Doc, cheese and crackers, because the cheese food. and crackers are shitty and terrible. Here. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry! And give one to her. Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Oh yeah, Doug, that guy. We had some good times. Want something to eat? I'm gonna give Kenny, him the jerky. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. And I think I'll give one to Mark. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. I'm gonna give the last one to Mark. Cause Mark's my man. How's it going, Lee? From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. Yeah, so what, bitch? I can decide what to do with the food, because you're the one who said it. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Oh, no, she lost her hat. Yo, man, how's sure. the chat looking? When did you lose I see three people. I had it a couple Never days mind. ago. They're gone. I promise. If I find it... Just tell I'll me if you see you anything know. in the chat, because then you. I can respond to it okay, at least. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? You there, buddy? Okay. Huh? Just tell me if you see anything in the chat. Keep it on the chat for me. Uh, nothing is... Nobody's in the chat. Okay. Will you hold just the damn like board people. steady? I'm trying. I, says I three didn't realize I was getting this so, week already. If you what see do you want? A handout? Just, just uh, tell me what they say. I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit mm -hmm. being such a pansy. Oh, uh, two cool Canadians said hi. That's, that's Cloud. Yeah. Say hi, Cloud. So. Hi, Cloud. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. I'm gonna give Mark the axe, because Mark and me... Oh, boy, we had some good times. Here, Mark, this should help. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. Oh, bullshit. You didn't think to give me the axe? Oh, what, lugging around that Come 60 on, cents is too rest, much for man. you? Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, and that's what you think it's this Larry. is? Larry. That's what his name is. Scary Larry. Yeah, screw exactly. Larry, man. Yeah, I hate him, too. Oh, uh, Cloud, your Xbox isn't yeah, fixed yet. Right. And what are you gonna do I about it? I wish it was. Look! 
I don't care what it is, yeah. but you two have got to start trying to get along. I got the, the new self in the Madoka battle. The only thing I have to do is protect that my daughter. And right I know now, you got two Saint for Vegeta, wall but you don't have an Xbox so I would One, appreciate so appreciate If you two would shut up and let me get back I'm to work. Dick. Yeah, see that comment about him being a racist came back to bite me. Not really, though. Didn't really do anything. That is not how you use an axe, sir. Not it's using the axe like it? a hammer. Never said it was. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? You don't There's get any. left. Racist. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. Look You're who's talking. talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. It's funny, because Larry Lee. talks, but... Come here, please. Well, you'll see. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn you it. You think? I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. Oh, just you What wait. about the other kid? <laughs> oh, no! Thanks. Huh. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, you asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why? Why didn't you tell this us way. he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. Dun dun dun! You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. It took them a whole season to find that out in, in the show. We're all infected? Everyone? I I guess so. Right, T-Bar? I don't know. I, Actually, it took them to the I end of the second people season to figure that out. I know. We're never well, bitten. Well, for them to reveal it. When I first it. saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. I don't but, trust uh, these guys. I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run Lee on likes gas. The, er, Look, not Lee. We own a Larry dairy likes farm the idea, so I instantly hate it. Y'all be willing to lower your guns. <laughs> we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? Wait, if it's a out, dairy, where are they getting all their food I'm from? I'm going with you. I got your a back. A dairy just means that they milk things. So, uh, 
What do y'all think? I guess they have cheese. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Kenny keeps us motivated. He believes in hope and knows how important it is for us not to give that up. I can't fault him for that. Or maybe you just don't want to be in charge. <laughs> well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. But I couldn't lie to her. What Silence exactly is always a valid answer. The senator. Somehow, I ended up getting locked in now is not the time. Well, I'm here whenever you want to talk. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell hey, doesn't matter there? anymore. Not sure everyone would see. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, Maybe you're right. Sure. Listen, over what the years I've so reported far? on some pretty messed up shit. Ooh. I've seen situations uh, like yours the guys a that are times. taking you to the dairy it doesn't have to make you a bad man. Yes. I mean, it's no I, secret. Uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, even I guessed that. I mean, that. thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Like how we never get Mark's story. I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem yeah, he, pretty settled he, his in. His only story is that he showed up Who's running things over there? In. <laughs> and he's been with them for three months. Kitty's a guy who really keeps a group together. <laughs> don't let Lily hear you say that. How many people you got over there, anyway? Well, the kid here's our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, Yay. I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been he running the dairy a bit too for sarcastic well, as long me. as I can remember, but. Now it's. You getting... think you're gonna cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always oh, pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who oh, are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fuck you knew we were hungry. Real. And you guys were keeping it up. There's only two. Oh no. There's yeah, and you know what? More. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. Hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Well then, asshole. He's a he's certainly a well-rounded human being. The here is going to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy <laughs> where it's safe. He has a crossbow. I would go grab that shit. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. No, I can't. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Well, they definitely kept the dairy nice and tidy. Despite, you know, this apocalypse. is a really brilliant setup. Suits us yep. just fine. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting, hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This Who's here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old